This is a 30-day challenge for me and you to go sober for the month of October. We're going to answer this call to action by activating something called Monk Mode. And by the end of this month, you'll be a new man. My name is David and I help men like you on their self-development journey with practical tips and tools for the minimalist lifestyle while keeping it real. I started drinking alcohol when I was 20, so I've been an alcoholic for about 22 years. I've also been addicted to smoking tobacco, eating sugar, and drinking coffee for a really long time. That's pretty normal in modern society and it could be a lot worse, but it's bad enough for me and I'm ready for change. And so if you are too, let's go. Have you recently faced some kind of health concern in your life? For me, it's been my body. I've gained a lot of weight, about 20 pounds too much. I think it's important to share your decision to do monk mode for Sober October, and I encourage you to share your journey with them. Tell them that you're serious about committed to a period of purity and focus. Here's some books that I've read that have made a big difference in my life, and I think they will for you too, especially during this 30-day period. The Key to Living the Law of Attraction, 12 Rules for Life, Atomic Habits, High Performance Habits, any book by Stephen Pressfield like The War of Art or Turning Pro, The 30-Day Sobriety Solution, Essentialism, Extreme Ownership, or anything by Tony Robbins. The first thing you're gonna wanna do before anything else is to stack the odds in your favor and get rid of any of the vices in your house that are gonna tempt you. Then just don't let any more of them in your home or even around it. So what is monk mode exactly? Well, it's a state of extreme focus and self-discipline with the chief aim of achieving self-development and specific goals. And I'm here to help you in all of that. So let's go a little bit deeper now into how you can activate monk mode for Sober October. So you're gonna be challenged in these 30 days and you need to be prepared. For example, if you want to lose weight, I recommend that you weigh yourself now so you can compare yourself at the end. It's gonna give you some motivation and a solid reason why for when the going gets tough. When you find yourself in familiar situations, that can be a dangerous time because you are going to be tempted so you're gonna to have to learn how to set healthy boundaries and say no. Then once you have your external life in order, now it's time to turn inward. I find that it helps to reverse engineer projects, so start with the end in mind. That helps turn them into practical systems that you can apply today. If you're focused on your fitness, then think of all the weight that you could lose. If it's a financial situation, think of the money you could save I recommend only starting with about three things, then you identify what's essential and ignore all the rest. For me on this journey, it's my son Miles and getting my health back into shape, and that's it. So here's some tips for you moving forward with your Sober October Monk Mode in case you don't watch my upcoming live stream updates. I've been tracking my time a lot recently, every minute, and I use an app called Timery and Toggle. Earlier I mentioned Things, which is an Apple-only app that is minimal, effective, and with a really nice design. You can use it for tracking your ideas and turning them into projects that are actionable. Fantastical has been my go-to app for a calendar, and you can find it on the Mac Store, iPhone, and even for the watch. Habit tracking apps can be really useful. There's some other apps that I've found to be really good for habit tracking, and those are ones like Done, Streaks, and Productive. But with all of this, remember that self-development is a way of life, and it takes practice. You are gonna encounter situations that will test your resolve. Remember in those times that you are not invincible. Addiction is a powerful thing, and it can always bury us if we don't keep our guard up. You can actually lead by a positive example and influence them to make a change in their own life when they're ready. You kicked fear in the face and you transcended short-term gratification. And that alone is a big accomplishment. It's important to identify what's essential and to create a system for staying on the path. So whether you choose to stay sober only for October or longer, sobriety is a choice. It's your choice, so don't give a f 
ask what anyone else thinks, good or bad. This is your life to live and yours alone and no one else is going to care as much as you do.